Hello world, Wendy from Cali here, back with another Mixed Manny chat after being away for a while. I'm gonna set a timer and let's begin. So this week's theme, I'm a little late coming to the party, but it is pretty in pink. Compliments of Tara Stoddard. If you don't follow Tara, I will link her YouTube video. Uh, channel below as well as her Facebook group which is where we do these mixed manny challenges uh, and I'm also killing two birds with one stone because Stacy's sassy crew and Facebook which I'll link below as well uh, compliments of Stacy Adams uh, has this manny bingo that we've been doing and today I'm going to be doing this one Yuzi Tuzi and your manny so you'll see that I have a Tuzi here uh, which is a two finger tester. Uh, Key West is best. And I'm going to be using that with the Color Street uh, Craft Punch that was included in the, I want to say it was the April Fluffy and Comfy uh, subscription box. If you don't subscribe to Color Play, I have a link below. My sister in law is a Color Street stylist, and you can subscribe next month box in September is called Sunset Rider, I want to say. It looks intriguing. I really hope that it has colors very similar to these right here and just sunset vibes. I love that. So, yes. Anyways, enough said. Uh, I have been traveling. For those that don't know, uh, I've been away um, in Utah babysitting my sister Michelle's kids while she and her husband went to Switzerland for vacation with the in-laws and it was an amazing time out there had a little bit of a hiccup um, as far as um, my pops having a minor health scare we're hoping it's minor um, right now we're saying it's minor don't know but Long story short, he has a catheter inserted. We've dealt with this in 2020, uh, back when the pandemic had first started. Um, and he had gotten over that episode uh, fairly well. But it looks like it's whatever it is that's plaguing him is coming back. So keep him in your thoughts and prayers uh, if you would like to do so um, but yeah hoping that being at home and just the natural uh, homeopathic I should say uh, treatment that my significant other panda bear is working with my pops um, will help the situation just as it had three years ago so anyways let's not get into sad stuff let's get into some more like like a recap of where I've been what I've been doing um, before I hopped on this video uh, I have been listening to um, the third, is it the third? I think it's the third book in the Bridgerton series by Julia Quinn. Uh, for those that don't know Bridgerton, uh, Netflix has created a series on an adaptation of the books. And I'm reading the third one right now, which is about the Brother Benedict. I won't give anything away, but I'm trying to get through uh, the books uh, before the end of this year because uh, supposedly the next season of Bridgerton on Netflix will be out uh, at the end of the year. So, But I want to get through book three and book four because book four is about the brother Colin and Supposedly, season three of Bridgerton on Netflix is going to be about Colin and not Benedict. And so it's going kind of out of order um, from the books. So I want to make sure I get through the books up through that point so that I can kind of compare and contrast the show to the books themselves. 
And then when I say read, I really mean listen because I'm listening to the audiobooks. I'm not actually reading the books. Um, I do enjoy reading, but finding time to sit down and actually read is very hard. Uh, so I've been listening to the audiobooks. Anyways, that's a lot of talk. Um, you might have seen that I was using uh, OPI Nail Envy on my nails. Uh, my nails are completely wrecked from just a lot of playtime with my niece and nephew, as well as from travel. Uh, so I've been really rough <laughs> on them. So you can see that I, they've been chopped down really short, uh, and I needed an extra barrier before putting down the dry nail polish strips. So, so yeah, that's why I did that. But let's begin, shall we? So what I plan to do, I got Gossip and Glitter. Uh, I only had one set of this before, but then Color Street had a buy one, get one free where they brought back some throwback sets and Gossip and Glitter was one of them. And so now I feel compelled to use it because this got delivered to me when I was in Utah. So I'm like, I totally want to just use it. And then Grow With The Flow, uh, I've this was from was it one or two summers ago where this one came out um, and I really liked the pink as well as the orange hues to it. We are getting towards the end of the summer and having those colors just made sense to me. And I also did my toes. This was also another set I bought via the buy one get one free uh, sale that Color Street had, Hibiscus Kiss. So my toes are now in this fashion. So I thought that it went really well together. So that is why I am doing these sets. And because I'm doing not only the Mixed Mani Challenge in Tara's Facebook group, but also in Stacy's Facebook group with the Manny Bingo, using a twosie I felt was like the easiest to incorporate all of this. Kill two birds with one stone. And so here we go. So let's get started on the Mixed Manny because a lot of you are here for that and not for the talk. <laughs> so we're going to lay this down first. So I've been in Utah for the past almost two weeks, actually, um, and it was just a lot of fun. My sister, she has like a set routine with her kids and keeps them fairly busy and active and giving them everything. This is her words. Uh, she tries to give them everything that she didn't have when she was growing up. And so, you know. My family was like, I want to say poor, I want to say like lower middle class would be the best way to put it when we were growing up. So, you know, we had a decent roof over our heads and all of that. Um, but, you know, uh, for those that have, you know, lunch cards, we had lunch cards at school where, you know, um, government cheese, if you guys have ever had government cheese blocks of government cheese <laughs> vague memories of of that um, so anyways so with that said you know growing up we didn't have like dance lessons or you know daycare to go to or any of that um, and in fact growing up in the late 80s early 90s you know we were latchkey kids, you know. I was in charge of myself, my brother, and my sister at a very young age because both of my parents had to work. And so at the age of nine, we were left home alone. I know, not legal, right? Um, we did have one scare at one point where one of the neighbor kids called 911 as a prank, saying that they saw someone jump over our fence. And so the cops came that day and, um, needless to say, they were not happy to find out that, um, uh, there was only a nine year old, an eight year old and, uh, <laughs> a five year old, uh, at home alone. And so, you know, uh, they had to have a stern talk with my mom. Anyways, uh, I also got a stern talk from my mom stating, do not open the door for anyone who knocks, even if they say they're the police. Uh, so, 
yeah, but I'm going off on a complete tangent. Let's go back to the whole reason why I started talking about that. My sister wanted to give her children everything that she didn't get growing up. So, uh, you know, the ability to, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, dance classes, soccer, like sports, all of that, like she wanted to give to her kids. And so, uh, she had a long list of things for us. Um, so it was my mom, my pops, Panda Bear and myself, the four of us drove to Utah and, you know, we were to take care of her, uh, my niece and nephew for like a week and a half while my sister Michelle and her husband, uh, went to Switzerland with, uh, his parents, his brothers and sis uh, sister-in-laws and all of that. No kids. So that's the whole reason why we were taking care of them. Anyways, um, Ooh, you know what I was going to do? I wanted to use the alcohol pad because I'm sure my nails are super like oily from me touching everything. Um, but yeah, so we were in Utah. My sister has like a routine for them. The kids go to Ardent. There's a Ardent Fitness, uh, a local gym uh, that she takes herself and her kids to almost every weekday. Uh, so she signed me up and paid for me to take classes um, and take her kids to the Active Kids Club while I was there. So I haven't worked out in a gym, in a gym class in a long time. I think the last time I was even in a gym class was when I visited my sister like a year ago. And I love taking gym classes. That's what I used to do um, before Panda Bear and I like really settled in together. Um, and before my gym, I used to have a gym membership. Um, with Spectrum Club, which then turned to Bay Club, and then they moved, uh, no longer having a location close by my work office. Uh, I used to go on my lunch break and take workout classes, so I'm not unfamiliar with taking like kickboxing, hip hop, um, Zumba, like all of those classes, like step, cardio. Uh, yoga, like all of those classes I used to take. Um, so, you know, it was kind of like my body needing to be reminded um, of that activity that I used to do. So I, at the beginning, felt like I was going to die. Like there, it was just so much activity that my body was not used to. Um, and I was like so sore and like wiped out and I don't know how my sister does it going to the classes and taking care of her two kids. Um, like it's a lot, it's a lot. And so I don't have kids myself. You know, it was something that, you know, I was adamant and I have my reasons and you know, everyone's got their own reasons for their lives. But my specific reasons is I, this world is just so effed up that I don't want to bring children into the this world. <laughs> um, however, I love kids. So don't get me wrong. It's not that the reason why, you know, not wanting to have my own children is not because I don't love kids. Um, it's the fact that this world is just so effed up and I don't want to bring children into it. Granted, we, if we all collectively did something about the world, um, maybe perhaps it would be less, um, less of what it is <laughs> right now. Uh, but yeah, there's just too many children in the world that need good homes. So Panda Bear and I have discussed this and, you know, if and when we do want to possibly start our own family, we would adopt. So, but yeah, anyways, I don't know how my sister, uh, does this. I don't know how moms do it. 
where you have to have all of your energy basically is like channeled for your children like you you your lives now revolve around those little beings that count on you and so so yeah but a lot of working out felt really good at the end uh you know like my body got used to it so much that now that I've returned back to Cali I want to possibly find similar like a similar gym where they have you know classes like that and Panda Bear and I found something on Yelp hopefully it's as good as you know what I experienced in Utah the folks in Utah were really nice and they all knew I was there like all the people that were at uh, worked at the gym and all the people attending the classes they knew my sister because my sister goes there a lot and they knew that I was in town uh, to help babysit her children while she was on vacation so they were really nice I just couldn't remember everyone's names because there were just so many people uh, but yeah I just had a great time uh, doing that and then I just had so much fun just watching my niece and nephew grow up before my eyes in the almost two weeks that we were out there we were only scheduled to be out there from the 5th to the 16th. We were supposed to return home on the 16th. Um, however, my dad, my pops had a health scare. So I guess I could talk about it here. Um, he wasn't able to pee for some reason, like on his own, but he kept having the sensation of wanting to pee and poop. Okay, TMI for those who don't want to hear about talk about peeing and pooing. Um, but, <laughs> um, so that was occurring on Monday and it, it was concerning because it's one thing not to be able to poop. Like not everyone poops every single day, but not being able to pee, like you should be peeing at least a few times a day. And so for him not having been able to pee at all um, was very concerning to us because we've been, as I mentioned, in this same situation before in 2020. And so Panda Bear and my mom uh, decided that, you know, the, we better just take Pops to the hospital. So Panda Bear did that um, late on Monday night. Um, and then they had IVs put into him. They had emptied out his bladder, which had three liters of pee in it. Um, and then they inserted a catheter uh, so that he can have some assistance with getting pee out. So, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, we had to deal with that while we were out there. And on, so I had to let work know I wasn't returning um, on Wednesday as I had originally thought um, and that um, I asked if I could work remotely and got permission to do that um, so Thursday I worked remotely um, <laughs> went through so many different emails and just managing tasks and stuff like that on Thursday to the point where I was completely wiped out <laughs> um, but yeah um, Friday was when we traveled back. So Friday we had a long trip back, but my dad was in good spirits. So that was good. Um, oh, I skipped a, I skipped a step. So we had taken out the catheter on Thursday morning. Um, and my dad was still not able to pee on his own. So, uh, Panda Bear took my dad back to the hospital, but this time to a different hospital. Um, just as, get a second opinion and they reinserted the catheter told him that he should keep it in for a couple weeks um, and then panda bear and my dad were back home by dinner time so it was pretty pretty quick much quicker than Monday night when they originally had to deal with all of that 
Um, probably because they already knew what was happening and they already had done tests at the other hospital. So the hospital, the second hospital didn't need to do extra tests or anything like that um, for reinserting the catheter and all that. So, so yeah, while I was working on Thursday, all of that was happening. I'm just so thankful for Panda Bear. Um, always, always watching out for our family. Um, but yeah, we traveled back yesterday. Uh, we stopped in Vegas because my water bottle <laughs> that uh, I got from the Coke store, this, you'll see that it's highly decorated now with uh, stickers that my nephew Calvin stuck on. Um, but I've dropped this bottle so many times that it's like wobbly and like not quite, um, you know, I, I needed a new one and Panda Bear had left his behind when he had taken my mom to, uh, the urgent care, uh, he had taken my mom to urgent care like months ago for a health scare and he had left his bottle behind. And so he needed a new bottle too. So we wanted to stop by Vegas to the Coke store to buy new bottles. And also typically when we either head to Utah or return from Utah, we will stop by Henderson um, at Juan's Flaming Fajitas and Cantina to have a meal um, right around, they have happy hour from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. every day. And so we did that. Um, yesterday um, just kind of keeping with our normal um, and right now my dad seems to be doing okay you know he's kind of living with the catheter in him and doesn't seem to be out of sorts with it um, he's catching up on all his TV recordings as he's normally doing um, and Panda Bear is already out and about um, dealing with stuff um, preparing for, apparently, there's a humongous tropical storm headed our way um, here in Southern California um, that's expected to hit tomorrow, Sunday. Uh, so, my dad's, my pop's uh, side of the family owns an apartment complex um, here in like the LA area and some of the rooftops needed some repair because uh, we got to gear up and be ready for that storm that's coming. So Panda Bear was up super early. You know, he <laughs> he's a machine. He he drove us all back home yesterday. You know, the only one driving. He insists he doesn't care for being a passenger in a car so he drove all of us and then he woke up super early this morning to hit up Home Depot to go and help get things situated in that apartment complex to make sure that the roof of the building is secure um, enough to deal with the storm so yeah <laughs> really really busy um, and then here I am taking time to do my nails. Like this is my me time. Um, I had so much fun doing my nails with my niece, uh, my little niece, Lorelai. She had just turned three in July, so she's still really little. Um, but my sister Michelle gave me permission to do her nails. Um, And so I did my niece's nails. If you have seen, if you're part of my Facebook group, or if you're part of Stacy's uh, Facebook group, you would have seen pictures of my my nails and my niece's nails because we tried to kind of, I made them kind of like matched, like mini me kind of cutesy little nails that we did. Um, and that was a lot of fun. I must admit, I had so much fun doing that. Um, 
but yeah, um, I'm losing track of my thoughts here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to miss doing that. She was like the best. My niece Lorelai was like the best, um, as far as out of all my nieces to get their nails done. She was so patient. She let auntie choose. Uh, she let auntie like do her thing. She wasn't scared of the wooden cuticle stick or this right here, the, uh, nipper. Um, and she just sat there and she just let auntie do her thing. And I'm just in awe of how well behaved my niece Lorelai and my nephew Calvin are. Uh, granted, when their parents came home, they were a little bit more whiny. Um, and I'm sure it's because, you know, when you are around your parents, you always end up acting a, a different way than you do with people that are not, you know, you don't live with every single day. And so, while my sister and her husband were on vacation their kids were really well behaved I mean we rarely had to discipline them at all only one time did I have to use the one two three method on my niece Lorelai um, and yeah it, they were such a joy to be around and I really miss them like I miss them I, we've only been home like this is the first day not seeing them um, and I'm already like, ugh, I miss those little kiddos. Um, but I also, when we were in Utah, I missed panda bears. You know, my sister-in-law Carla's kids. So my nephew and my nieces, um, which I get to see on a weekly basis. I miss them profusely. So we get to see them today and I'm very excited about that because we haven't seen them for like two weeks. And so I'm very happy about that. Um, but yeah, but I also have to spend some of this weekend getting work done. So I'm hoping that tomorrow during the big storm that's expected that my internet stays, you know, working properly so I could do some work. I got to catch up on some work because you know, I had not intended to be out yesterday for travels, and so I gotta, I gotta catch up. So, so yeah, so that is my weekend plans. Um, I did find, or Panda Bear found, a workout studio that's close to my sister-in-law Carla's. Uh, so we're probably gonna go check that place out. I did send a text to the owner of the. Uh, the company, but I haven't received a text back yet, so I don't know. I might actually try calling to inquire about what I wanted to inquire if I don't hear back via text, because I do want to find a place where I can get a similar kind of workout vibe that I did from what I experienced in Utah. And this place, Get Fit Factory in El Monte, uh, looks like it's going to fit the bill. Um, so, I don't know though. We'll see. Because I, I want to go check the place out. Um, but yeah. Um, oh, and <laughs> so in Utah, there's a place called Fat Cats that is like an arcade um, but it also has like a bowling alley, mini golf, and theater. Like it's all in one like family entertainment type place, which was really cool. On Wednesdays they had half off, uh, which is awesome. Uh, so long story short, my niece and nephew allowed me to use some of the tickets to get this cute little gnome. So Jerome the Gnome is now part of my little stuffy family. So I'm very excited to have him. Uh, but yeah, it was really cute that they let me um, pick out my own little prize as well. Uh, so, so yeah. Um, 
There's also some really great parks close by my sister's house that we took the kids to, and that was a lot of fun. My nephew Calvin also is in the soccer team and has had soccer practice, and we got to see his first soccer game. My niece Lorelai had her first solo swim lesson um, that Auntie got to take her to, and she did so well, and oh, it, it's fun to see my niece and nephew just doing all these different things because I don't really get to see that very often. Um, so, so it was, it was a nice alternate reality for the past two weeks. Um, but yeah, I am glad to be home though, because this is what I'm used to. Um, being able to have my own me time doing my nails with you all <laughs> and also seeing my dog Buddha and um, his caretaker um, we have a the apartment manager Shelly um, we take her on to have her kind of watch the house water the the plants uh, take the mail in each day um, and spend a few hours with Buddha each day uh, and we found out that Buddha loves the water hose so um, while Sh Shelly was watching Buddha um, when she was watering plants and stuff like that she found out that Buddha loves like running under the water and so she was t telling Panda Bear all about you know Buddha and his love for water. I mean, Buddha's a Maltese poodle mix, a multi-poo, and so the poodle side of him, poodles are water dogs for sure. So I'm pretty sure that that explains why Buddha loves the hose. Um, but also, you know, it's it's been really hot, so of course it makes total sense uh, to. Um, that Buddha would want to be, you know, running through the hose and all that stuff. But yeah. Alright. So, I know that time is ticking. This is probably going to be a two-parter. Uh, not probably. It will be a two-parter. Um, but the first part, at least, I'll be pretty much done with the first layer, which is this Grow with the Flow um, set. Really pretty. Um... Yeah, really, really pretty. I'm just... Almost looks like a... The flowers, the way they did it, almost looks like a leopard print, an animal print. So it's kind of cool that it's like... It does double duty. But I realized that I wanted to make a nail stick with this. So perfect timing. I'm going to cut this one and use this part for the nail stick. And hopefully be able to smooth out that wrinkle that I'm seeing. I hate when that happens. Okay, it looks like I got it smoothed down. No problem there. Crisis diverted. Alright, but let's put this down here. I like having these nail sticks. I got this idea from Tara Stoddard. She also does these nail sticks and she keeps the ones that she's used so that you can kind of look back on the ones you've used. So I have adopted that as well because I like being able to see all the different sets I've used. I think I've used like, so I've only learned about Color Street since 20, the beginning of 2021 and so that's like two years worth less than two years worth of mixed manis using color street sets but I feel like I've used at least about a hundred sets and I don't know but I keep them in these little um, cups I guess you'll say little holders um, I have the glitters I have the overlays 
There's an earring Tara made that I purchased. Um, and solids in French. I don't use solids in French as much as the others, so then that's why they're combined. And then I have the designs. And not all of these are Color Street. There are some that are actually other name brand nail like wraps, like Lillian Fox, for example. Uh, but the majority of them are Color Street, so I have like a ton. Um, but I keep all of those for memory's sake. And I think I'm on my last bag of those nail sticks. Like, I think this is my last one. I got this, like, a huge pack of, like, I want to say it was, like, 200? 200? 400? No, 200. I think it was 200. Um, it's, like, a bag of 50 each. Um, and I had a bunch of them. Uh, so I need to purchase more. I originally purchased them on Amazon, but I also found that there's other sites like Shein and Timu that have them. And so I got to compare prices and see which is the least expensive and buy more. So, but yeah, those of you who watch or those of you who are watching, do you do something similar with like keeping track of what sets you've used and all that? I mean, besides taking photos of nail fees and stuff like that, um, is there anything else that you do to, like, remember um, what sets you've used? Comment below and let me know. <laughs> um, I actually purchased a whole bunch of, like, prints. And I know that everything's going, like, digital now. Like, most folks are, um, you, you know, using digital, like, photo frames in all of that, um, rather than, um, using photo albums, physical photo albums, but I ended up ordering a bunch of prints from the past year, and now I need a photo album, so I, I, I'm in search of a good photo album to purchase, so that when I get the prints, um, I can put them in an album. So, but yeah, so many different pictures, so many awesome memories, and I get to go see my nieces and nephew on Panda Bear's side today, and then at the beginning of September, I'll get to see my niece, Emmeline, perform in her dance recital, so I'm excited about that. Oh, and it looks like time's up as far as the first part so we will be moving on to part two looks like I'm not done with go with the flow grow with the flow just yet I saw my thumbs but that's okay um, there's no rush to get all of this done um, I'm actually enjoying being able to take my time doing my nails because when I was babysitting um, when I was doing my nails off camera with for myself and for my niece Lorelai, we were kind of like rushing through it a little bit because, you know, I couldn't spend all day doing the nails with her. We had so many different things to take the